flying up to 1,000 meters up. A fleet of aircraft capable of supply airdrops, partial delivery, and firefighting, also known as electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, or EVITO. They can even carry humans now. Pretty versatile, huh? But stop, rewind, and pause here. Take a look at where it took off. Zoom out a bit. A floating vessel. It's the first in the world. It's solving a world problem. After delivering an aircraft earlier this year that was the world's first EVITO aircraft exceeding one ton capacity that holds all three essential airworthiness certifications, the electric vessel is the latest product debuted by the Chinese EVITO maker Autoflight. We wanted to extend the whirlpool infrastructure from land to the water area, such as like you know river, lake, or even the near shore sea area. What that means is a more flexible application scenario for the small aircraft. I'm from Germany. I'm from Norway. I'm from uh, Dallas, Texas. That's what brought the dozens of foreign industry insiders and investors to this small city in the southeastern Chinese province of Jiangsu. How would you evaluate a company's development? Exceptional. This is producing results, it's not just talks. China should be really proud that you have um, a lot of technology and you are doing it. It's not computer renderings. I'm from the industry and this is very, very impressive. Great work. I visited this company four years ago when it was developing its first passenger drone. And now you can see the entire fleet. We upgraded our seating sort of deployments from five seats to six seats. So right now it's like one plus five, like one pilot plus five passenger. She says the passenger aircraft expected to get a certification from the Civil Aviation Administration of China by the end of next year. And sales will start in 2027. We were already taking orders. Many of the orders come from the uh, passenger EVs. Majority of our clients still in China, but the overseas clients are already upscaling. So basically, for example, the Middle East, the deal that we recently signed of 50 units with them. And also we have customers from Japan, South Korea, and we are actually talking with customers in Kazakhstan, in Brazil, in other countries. The country's supply chain has gone all in on this industry. China's battery giant CATL has even become a large investor in this EV doll maker. By working with CATL, firstly, they gave us strategic investments. And then secondly, they make sure our battery system uh, in the future will be the topest in its sort of safety level. I think it might be a smart move because this industry will do a lot of uh, high revenue expensive batteries. Where do you think China is now in the world's low altitude economy? Flying with people and in the drone-ish space, I would say it's the world leader. Because I know very well what's going on in the West and it's going very slow and with less investment and with uh, too little traction. Before it was the US and you have uh, strong US companies like Archer and Joby. And uh, in Europe, we have had Lilium, uh, Volocopter, some stuff don't work out. So I think uh, China is the leader here now. When you look at the world, where would you rank China? In the low altitude economy, it's leading. I'm from Germany. I also look into United States a lot. They are further behind uh, and not concentrating so much on the low altitude economy. There's so much technology over here that can be a strong part of the infrastructure and I think a very important part of the industry. So far, Autoflight has received orders for around 2,000 units of its aircraft. And with its newly launched passenger aircraft, it's shifted its business focus from industry-based unmanned aero vehicles to the larger EVITO aircraft. The certification issues are uh, one of the hurdles that need to be crossed, but like anything, when you put together a project like that, it's just details to be worked out. China's moving fast towards the passenger EVITO era. In March, the country's Civil Aviation Authority issued a world's first air operation certificate for remotely operated aircraft system to two urban aero mobility operation companies, marking the official start of the passenger era for China's low altitude economy. The technology is here. The, the issue, the hurdle is the public acceptance. I think regulation will pass, will come to be. Um, when public acceptance uh, comes about and with more public demonstrations like this, it promotes the public acceptance, more successful flights and uh, in public venues. And for the future market prospects, he says, success breeds success.